All right, we are back for episode eight of painting the legions of the Horus Heresy without an airbrush. And today, as I'm sure the thumbnail has revealed, we're painting a blood angel. So I primed this guy with gray seer spray from Citadel. And now, uh, after a lot of deliberation, I consulted with some friends and, you know, I pulled the community. I did lots of stuff. I finally came to the conclusion to paint this blood angel, we're going to use blood angels red. So same as the night Lord yesterday, we just want to get our brush pretty wet, not soaking wet, but maybe wetter than it would normally be after drying it off. And we're just going to apply this all over. And we just want to try to maintain long strokes with the brush when possible to help counteract the splotchiness that a contrast paint can try to settle in sometimes. And I'm not purposely trying to cover up the joints in the armor since we will be painting them with a different color, but I'm not, uh, I won't be heartbroken if, uh, they do get red on them. We're gonna paint them over in black and the black will cover over the red. No problem. So I'm just gonna get all this armor covered in red here. Pretty simple process. This red, this Blood Angels red is probably, it's definitely not the worst in terms of wanting to uh, wanting to dry splotchy, but it's, I would put it in the, the bottom half in terms of contrast paints that like to dry splotchy. It's, uh, it's not the best. So just try to keep your brush wet. That will help uh, mitigate that. And yeah, so I'm gonna just finish this up. Shouldn't take me more than a couple more minutes here. And then I will come back. Well, I'll let it dry completely. I need to absolutely let this red all dry before we move on to the next step. A little bit, actually, before I close out here, um, a little bit too much water on the brush here, so it started to go a little pink. Not a problem. I just dry my brush off a little bit, and come back with some more red, and we're good to go. But now I will finish this up off camera, let it dry completely, and then we'll come back and do the black. All right, we are back and our red is nice and dry. And now we're gonna move on to Black Templar. And we're going to do several bits of him in Black Templar. Uh, of course, we're gonna do the bolter. So we'll start there. Gonna black out everything on the bolter and then come back and paint in some details afterward. The red will show through sometimes a little bit through the black. Um, we will counteract that by either going over the black in a couple areas with a second coat or the parts where the red is showing through will just become silver. Again, this series is about getting an army on the table quickly. So I could have been more careful when I was applying the red. And honestly, if I was doing a whole army, that's what I would do. I would just be a little more careful. Just so I didn't have to go back on an entire army. And uh, think about that. But for this one-off guy, we'll just do those simple fixes and be fine with it. Uh, now, I'm going to color the backpack with black. Again, if I had thought about it beforehand, I probably just wouldn't have uh, painted the backpack red. But that's okay. A lot of this backpack will be silver. Maybe not a lot of it, but a good chunk of it is going to be silver. These exhaust ports are going to be silver. The conduits on the side here are going to be silver. And the... The lines on top will be silver, so a good amount of this red that's showing through will be covered, but we'll just 
start there. Um, then I'm debating if I want to do this shoulder pad in black. And I think I'm going to. I think I prefer it to be black. This we will almost certainly need a second coat on. Um, just because of how much the red will shine through. But that's okay. I'll do that during the break while everything is drying. Uh, but now I'm going to switch to my thinner brush so we can paint in the armor joints. So I'm put these on the front here. Being careful not to get any of this on the red armor. And if this guy had one of the bolters that had the strap hanging down, I would paint that in black also. Um, but I'm not going to paint the belt around his waist in black, I don't think. I think he has enough black on him. I think I'll just leave that red. Which means I will need to touch up that little spot right in there. But I'll do that again during the break, so that's fine. So I'll just go ahead and finish up. Oh, I'm going to... Gonna get these bandoliers on his chest in black also. But yeah, uh, now I will just go finish this up, do a second coat where necessary, and then come back and we'll do the silver. Alright, we are back and our black is nice and dry. And now we're gonna move on to our silver, which is going to be Iron Breaker. And I'm sure I sound like a broken record to anyone who has watched several or all of the episodes. Uh, if you chose to chain bayonet for your models, I would recommend painting the teeth of the bayonet silver, leaving the body of it the same color as your bolter, in this case black, and then painting the part that connects the bayonet to the bolter in silver as well. I stuck the regular bayonets on because I think they look cooler. And these models are not going to get played with. They're just going to be sat up on a shelf to kind of look cool all together. Barrel of the bolter here. stuff on the bolter here. There we go. And then I'm going to get the entire magazine and paint it silk. Then I'm going to go and get the bandolier details on his chest or whatever these things are. Perfect. And then side of the helmet, side of the helmet, and then this camera thing on the top of his helmet. There we go. All right, and then I'll do these conduits on the backpack here. I'm going to get the six main rivets. So I've talked about these in the previous videos, but if this is your first video, um, all these Marines have a bunch of rivets on their backpacks, but if I'm doing an army, I don't want to have to paint all these rivets, especially because these are even smaller than the ones up there. So I just do these six main ones and call it a day. And from three feet away, he'll look just fine. And since most people are going to be seeing him like this, because he's going to be on a table, they'll just see the couple that are painted, and they won't even ever notice that the other rivets aren't painted. 
obviously, if I were painting these Marines for like a competition or something, um, I would paint them. But that is not at all what this series is about. This series is about just getting your models done so you can earn, well, I was going to say earn those 10 points, but there's no paint requirement in 30k, just so you can have a sweet looking army for, uh, for Horus Heresy. So I just got the bigger brush and I'm painting these exhausts here in silver. And after this color, we are really just about done with our Blood Angel. Um, there's a couple more colors I'm going to add just to liven them up a little bit. But honestly, if you wanted, you could, uh, you could hit these bumps with silver also. And then just put a quick color on the eyes and you could really be done. But I will let this silver dry, and then we will come back and do the next couple colors. All right, we are back, and our silver is nice and dry, and now we're going to go on to our Retributor armor. This is gonna be for the bumps on the shoulder pad, as well as the little Quilla symbol hanging down off his bolter here. Not all the Marines have this, but this guy happens to have it, so I will paint it in gold. I don't know if it means something more than just this marine happens to have a decoration on his bolter, but uh, I have been choosing to paint those in gold whenever they happen to come up. So now I'm just painting these bumps. Don't know what they are. Maybe they're like. Maybe they do something structural for the uh, shoulder pad. I don't know. There we go. So then I'm going to take some white. In this case, I'm going to use Corax white. And I'm just going to paint his eye lenses with this. And his eye lenses are not going to end up being white, but they're going to end up being green. But in order for our green contrast to work really well, I'm painting them in white first. There we go. I'm also going to put a white dot on this thing. Like that. Alright. So, I will let that white dry. And then we will come back and do the green. Do a little bit of weathering and call it done. Alright. Alright. Everything is nice and dry. We're going to start with our green. We're using Warp Lightning for this. Just get a tiny little bit on the brush. And put it on this lens right there. And then in both eyes, just like this. Being careful not to get it on the red armor. And there we go. There's our nice green eyes for our Blood Angel. So then, like I said, we're going to do a little bit of weathering. I'm going to use Katie and Flesh Tone first. And I'm going to get my beat up brush back. And just get a little bit of this and then wipe most of it off. And then I'm just going to come to the edges and just do a little bit of weathering slash fake edge highlighting on these edges just to show a bit of wear and tear. I think this uh, Katie and Flesh Tone does a nice job over the Blood Angels Red to give just a just a slight hint of weathering. Get some on the head here. Be careful around the eyes because I did just paint them. I'm going to get the bottom edge of the shoulder pad here. Get the butt plate. The butt plate on a Space Marine is a great place for weathering. So it's got those ridges on it. Get down here. Get a little bit up there. A little more back here. And I think that's good terms of our our weathering. So now I will get my Nuln oil here 
and I'm just going to put this on the silver and the black. Um, I put it on the black also, just so that it has a consistent finish. So I'm putting it on the silver and black here, and then just to make sure that the black of the bolter and the black of the backpack and the black of the shoulder pad all look similar, I just put a thin layer across all of it. Get it worked into all the recesses here. There we go. A little more in there and in there. Get the other side of the bolter here. And then this part little camera thing up here. Being careful not to drown out the green when I do that. But yeah, and then side panels here. There we go. And then the bandolier. And then I did make sure to get a little bit on this uh, quill thing also. And with that, we will call him done. So right about now, you should be seeing him on a base. Uh, the simple basing scheme that I've been doing for all these Marines in this series. Just so they're on something, and then when they're all lined up next to each other, they'll look coherent. None of these are being used for an army, so I don't need to worry about a complicated base scheme or anything. But, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I will be back with the next episode, which is... Hmm. This happened to me a couple episodes ago. The Tenth Legion. I don't remember who the Tenth Legion is. If you're a 10th Legion fan, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I can't remember who the 10th Legion is. Maybe the Iron Hands? Well, anyway, the next episode will be whoever the 10th Legion is. Maybe the Iron Hands. But if you like the video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment below, you know, all the good YouTube algorithm stuff, and I will see you on the next one.